Matt, I think the sprint is one of our favorite betting races, de fact, uh, despite the fact that the favorite and the defending champion has getting, been getting rave reviews from the clockers and the people watching out there. Jerfong is the one to beat in the sprint with only two races this year. Yep, certainly, Brian. And, you know, we, we're going to sound a little bit like a broken record here. I think you and I both are looking for the ralliers in here. Uh, I don't think Dre Fong is going to get away and get loose as easily as he did last year. And, you know, with a with a light campaign and pressure out front, uh, you and I, I think, are both looking for a rallier in here. And I think we're both looking at Mind Your Biscuits in here. A good price and uh, a horse that I'm going to be keying in daily doubles on either side and in a pick four. Absolutely, Matt. I'm, I'm with you 100%. I've been on the Mind Your Biscuit bandwagon for a while now. Um, I'm uh, throwing that last race out. I'm drawing a line through it. He wasn't the happiest of horses uh, for the forego. Jerfong had everything his own way in the forego, uh, his only win this year. And I think that will be far different than what he finds here. Jerfong certainly could be the best horse in the race and, and very likely is the best sprinter in the race. However, Tackleful is pure speed. Imperial Hint is a really, really good 5-6 furlong horse right now. Roy H., how good has Roy H. been this year? All of those horses want the lead or near the lead in here. Jerfong will have it anything but easy. Heavy favorite, I'm going against Jerfong. Respect, but this race just does not set up for him like his other wins have. So I love to see that as a better Mind your biscuits. I'm hoping he's eight to one or more in here. And I think he makes a big run to pick up the pieces. They're going to run fast. And mind your biscuits is going to come running. I really like him to win. I even have Roy H, who probably will be behind Drifong early as my top pick uh, for second. That is my second place pick over Drifong in third. Like I mentioned, though, Tackleful, Imperial Hint, there are some talented, talented sprinters in here. Whitmore could rally, but I, I don't trust him as much. Mind your biscuits all the way, Matt. In fact, this is one of my recommended bets of the Breeders' Cup. I'm just going to put $20 straight to win right on the nose of mind your biscuits. And if he pays $20, uh, I'll get a couple hundred back for that bet uh, with, a, with a horse that's going to be rolling down the lane. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> mind your biscuits is a horse to be using in the win spot, either with a straight win bet or in wagers where we need him, uh, need him to win, whether they're pick threes, pick fours, or daily doubles uh, on either side. Good stuff. If uh, Folks, if Mind Your Biscuits wins the Breeders' Cup Sprint this year, Chad Summers will be extremely happy, but uh, uh, your, your uh, respective hosts here at Horse Center will also be pretty happy.